What is up on this week of Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is just around the corner and this is a great time. So for today, we are working on the Del Sol. There's been a lot of stuff going on on the old Ranchero. The 240s being worked on as we're talking, as you're watching this video, the 240s being worked on and that video will be coming soon. But ultimately, we wanna get focused on the Del Sol. We gotta get it sanded down all the way take off the mirrors, pull the door panels so we can take off the mirrors and hopefully get it ready for primer. And now, you're watching the premature Christmas decorations of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome. Hoping you're enjoying yourself. Maybe you got some time off on work coming up because of the holidays and if you don't, you should probably just quit that job. So what we got going on, we got the 240 over here. All the sound deadening is gone. The owner of the car, Tyler, he came over and did a badass job. More on that later when I actually make the 240 video. The Ranchero is coming along nicely. We still have a couple things to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed that last video where it fires up. Super cool. I am so excited for that. And then over here, we got the Dell soul and man i really like that i could fit both cars in over here the ranchero we can still work on it the 240 i don't want to leave it outside because i don't want it getting wet on the inside because when i paint it rusty like i said all that'll come with the 240 video so here we got the del sol this is the focus of this video this is the focus of today and this is the focus of this early to late week the week of thanksgiving i'm freaking hype now before we get into doing what we have to do with the Del Sol to get it ready for primer because that's ultimately the goal, like I said, I wanted to stop and I wanted to kind of talk with you guys and let you know that I have been super busy and I know that's no excuse to leave you hanging but I do feel bad. I wish I was uploading more often and once I get a little break in the amount of work that I have going on at the shop and not to mention I got the 240, we got the Del Sol, we got the Ranchero and also this truck right here, Ford Ranger. This is kind of a local celebrity, Miguel Colon. I don't know if you know who he is. You probably do if you know anything about local Orlando comedy international comedian Miguel Colon like I said we're replacing the motor in that truck over there old motor came out yesterday new motor sitting right there so I've been super busy didn't film that but maybe I'll do a video on that but what I'm trying to say is that in the future I really plan on being more engaged with you guys I want to upload more often maybe come out with merch do some more stickers and stuff like that I do feel bad that I haven't been uploading as much as I would like but as soon as I'm not as busy and not as slammed at the shop I definitely will be uploading more often and more engaged and just that's what I would like to do but right now because I'm so busy at the shop that's kind of lacking because I really want to focus and take care of my customers who have their cars with me because that's the number one priority is to make sure anybody leaving their car with me I want them to feel like I'm taking care of it and I'm taking care of them so enough talking let's get to work bumper off and everything disassembled from it the lift those little side marker lights well they're not side markers but the little reflector lights in the bumper those are all gone I made some headway sanding the car a little bit more and also I got all these the little quick release fastener whatever you call those all of them are off and also now now I gotta go for the door handle this black door handle is gonna be green obviously and then I'm not gonna want to paint it on the car because I don't want the lock to get all messy and the paint on the other side was all kind of chipping off so that's gonna come off well this side already came off I'll show you how to take off the other side but I kind of wanted to make note that look you see the paint right here now I wanted to make note that every single car is different. When I have a customer and they bring me their car, we sit down and we talk and we go over exactly what he wants me to do, he or she wants me to do, and we go through the whole thing. Some people don't want me to remove the door handles and the locks because they know how hard it is to replace those parts and they know that they're extremely fragile and they might be cracked and kind of old. They would just prefer me to not mess with it. Some people don't want to pay for the extra time for me to go through and pull the door panels 
pull all this because that is time and time is money. So what I'm saying is sometimes with some cars, if you see me not doing this, understand that that was pre-discussed. And for a car like this and the price that we discussed and came up with, this is included. So I don't mind spending the extra couple hours pulling the door panels, pulling the mirrors, pulling the locks and pulling the handles. It takes a little time, but in the end it comes out a lot better. And that's what I prefer anyways, because it is my name on the car. So now we want to remove this door handle and the lock. And the first thing that I like to do now, please understand that when it comes to doing things and removing stuff on cars, there's many different ways to get to the same exact result. So you could do things in a different order if you would like. This is just what I found to work best for me. And this process is similar for Civics, Integras, Delsols, any Hondas, and a lot of the Japanese cars, it's pretty similar. So the first thing I like to do, take off these three bolts and make sure when you're taking these off, you're putting a lot of pressure inwards as you're twisting because these are very easy to strip out. So now that the latch is loose, just put the three screws aside because we're going to put that back in when we get the door handle out. So the next step is... So this little plastic's got to come out and you could just get this with your finger or a flathead screwdriver, whatever you want to use. Just pop that right off. Now there's two 10 millimeter bolts that we're going for. One right there. And the other one, you can see it through the hole right there, centered in the hole. So the first one you can get through here and then the second one you can get through there or first, second, second, first, you get the idea. And now if we go around to the front side, you'll see why I wanted to take off the latch mechanism so that way it can give me some room to pull this out a little bit. And this is exactly why I don't like messing with stuff sometimes because zip tie festival. But I guess I'll just ignore those and just keep acting like that's not there because it doesn't look like that's messing anything up. So this has got to slide off. So this is just going to slide towards the back of the car that way. And then this one right here, it's very important that the plastic stays with the handle and then the rod comes out. If you try to pull the plastic out with it, you're going to end up breaking the rod off or breaking this little arm and it's never going to come out. And trust me, I've done that before. Man, I don't like these zip ties. But either way, let me get you set back on the stool so I can show you how to pull them off. This one will just go towards the back of the car, nice and easy. And the trick is you kind of want to open up the plastic while you push the rod. So that one's out. Now to take the lock out, I'm going to be painting these green and I obviously don't want to get paint on the lock. So I can just take my same tool, you can just use a screwdriver right here, pull that right out. And then Keep in mind which way these two are oriented with each other, so this is going to be pointing away from it or pointing to the back of the car. And if you do forget, it's not a huge deal, it'll make more sense when you're trying to put it back in there. You'll see how the rod wants to reach this. And then you slide this just right out. See? Good to go. So this will be green. This won't get any paint on it, and I'll be able to sand this down, and that works best for the whole process. And for that last clip, sorry if the audio sounded a little bit funny, I got a directional microphone on here. See, look, this microphone. So when I'm talking behind the camera, I like to turn it around, facing me. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Notice that there's a little bit of difference in the audio. That's why it was, because I was flipping it around, trying to explain from behind the camera, explaining from the front of the camera. That's what happened. Either way, let's stay focused. Gotta get the rest of the car sanded down. Blow off valve over there, boy, big compressor. Rest of the car sanded down, get it ready for primer. So now I put the latch back on, those three Phillips head screws that I said to keep aside because we're gonna put the latch back on, I ended up putting it back on. So you see this rod right here, the one with the barbed tip on it. If you wanna open this door, just push it down and it'll open up. So I'm not gonna have to worry about a bunch of dust getting in the car around the seals or anything. And I'll tape that off from the inside by the time I'm painting it. We're moving right along. Let's keep making progress. Alrighty, so it is the next day now. I spent the first half of today getting the old turbo diesel. I wanted to get her all set and ready to go. Topped off all the fluids. It was a little low on oil. Wanted to check the transmission fluid, power steering fluid. I just went through the whole thing. Make sure we're not gonna have any issues because tomorrow, I think I'm gonna take the old Mustang, the 1965 Mustang Coupe that 
that I painted a couple months ago because nobody local wants to buy it. I think the best option for me is to take it to Daytona to the turkey rod run. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Even though I don't have so much time because of how busy I am, I need to make sure I get it sold so it's not just sitting around rotting away, need the money back in my bank account. So if you guys are gonna be in Daytona this weekend for Thanksgiving weekend over at the turkey rod run, I'm gonna have the Mustang out there. If you see me, come say what's up. I'll have some stickers. I'll throw you some if you want them. Just come say what's up or let me know in the comment section below if you're planning on going out there and then we can meet up and stuff because I think I'm just going to be sitting around the majority of the time hoping somebody offers me decent money for the Mustang. So back to the Del Sol. As you just saw, I got some of that trim off. I got the door handle off, so that's all good. I took the top off just now before I picked up the camera and also I got this trim off. So the next trim I want to go for just following right along the line is I want to get this one off. So like I showed you, push it down, pop it off. So this comes off by just taking off these three little fasteners. Once you pop it off, this will just slide right off and keep following it down. There's another one there, another one there, and we'll keep working our way along the line. So that back trim is taken care of because it's removed. And this front trim right here, what I ended up doing is I just put these paint sticks here because this is where it makes contact. You can actually see green paint there from where it was done poorly before. So if I just put paint sticks in here, it gets this little gap in here and that's gonna allow paint to flow nice and even all the way up to the edge. And then when I take this off, it's gonna sit nice over the new paint and we're not gonna have any problems whatsoever as far as coverage up top, coverage in the back. And some of these steps, this is what you would do when you're doing a color change, but I like to just do it anyways. I think it makes the car turn out a lot better. I wish I could take this off, but I'm just gonna be able to take that off. And I can only do so much when it comes to stuff. I'm not gonna pull the windshield out for a job like this, but I'm sure he'll be happy with how it is. And we gotta keep working, man. Man, so I know I didn't show it as extensive as the work was, but time crept up on me. It got dark out real quick and I was just working this area, working it, working it, working it. And the hardest part about this hood is the fact that it's been worked so much. I mean, there's been Bondo all over it, who knows how long, but I'm having so many issues because there's a soft spot in the hood. So my sander kind of pushes down that soft spot just by the weight of it itself and I can't pull up on it because then it's not gonna touch it. In other words, no matter how much I work this area, it's still gonna look funny because there's that soft spot in there and I can't get it out. And now it's getting real late. Tomorrow I'm gonna be running over to Daytona. I'll work on this a little bit, but I think I'm gonna close this video out right here. So again, if you've seen me over in Daytona, make sure you say what's up to me. The Del Sol, I wish progress was going a little bit quicker, a little faster. I wish I got a little more done, but I'm not gonna sacrifice the quality of the paint job at the end. If it's gonna take a little longer for the quality to be better, that's what I'm gonna choose every single time. And that's what it is this time. So I'm pretty much ready to prime it. That'll be in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, hope you have a nice, happy Thanksgiving. Comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.